Let's explore the site editor, which will allow you to design everything on your site using blocks, from the header to the footer and everything in between. Let's make our way to appearance and click on editor. This will open the site editor. On the left, there's the site view sidebar. And this nifty tool lets you dive into the key parts of your site, navigation, styles, pages, templates, and patterns. This tutorial aims to gain a deeper understanding of these elements. Let's start at the top with navigation. Here you can quickly see and tweak all your menus. It's your command center for menu management. You can make simple edits directly, like reordering, And when you click on the three vertical dots next to the name of the menu item, you can rename, duplicate and delete the menu item as required. If opened in the editing mode, you can make certain changes without any distractions and updates will sync across your site. When you click on the plus icon, you can add new pages or other menu items. You will notice that the navigation block is locked in this area. If you would like to style your navigation menu, you will need to open a template or the template part it is part of. Next, let's talk about styles. When you select styles, you will be able to browse through a variety of different style combinations that come with your theme. When you click on edit styles, you can browse your styles from here and then change your site's typography, colors and layout. Let's see how it works. When you click on typography, you can manage the typography settings for text, links, headings, captions, and buttons. A wonderful new feature is that you also now have access to a font library. Below fonts, we will currently see the fonts that have been added by our theme. But when we click on manage fonts, we will be able to install, remove, and activate local and Google fonts across your site with any block theme. When you click on install fonts, you will be able to install any Google font on your website and click on upload if you want to upload a font from your computer. Make sure you have the right to use any fonts you are uploading. Below typography, we will see colors. Here you can also change the colors for different global elements on your site. When we make our way to layout, we will notice you even have control of elements such as padding and block spacing. If you look down further below, you also have the option to customize the appearance of specific blocks for your whole site. To see how these blocks will change if you edit them, go to your site's style book. You will notice there's a little eye at the top. The style book allows a user to preview every block that can be inserted into your site. It gives you or provides you an at a glance preview of how global styles will affect any blocks display without the user inserting those blocks into a template. It is also important to note that a block styling can be adjusted within the style book. So let's update the buttons block for example. Let's change the background color and then change the letter case to uppercase. If you like what you see, you can go ahead and click save. Please also note that if you change an individual block in your style book, it takes precedence over the global styles you've set. While we are here, we also need to talk about style revisions. So let's go ahead and click on style revisions next to the style book icon. Style revisions will open up when you're in the style book or when you are editing a template. The Styles Revisions feature adds a visual way to browse changes to your styles over time, and you can easily revert to a previous stage if you find a style you prefer or want to revert back to a previous version. You merely have to select the version and then click on Apply. In this example, I am editing a template and will follow the same process. I will open up Style Revisions, select a previous style, and then click on Apply to revert back. When you click on the three vertical dots next to styles, you'll be able to reset styles as well as add additional CSS. 
Below styles, we can go to pages and create and publish pages from here. To add a new page, click on the plus icon next to pages and create a draft. But you can also of course create a new page when you're in your dashboard or WP admin. Next, let's open up one of our existing pages, my about page. When you open a page, it is important to remember to add content to the content block. To put it another way, the content block is the house or the container for all your content. The second thing to remember is that you can't customize your header and footer when editing a page. That's all part of managing templates. If you click on the header, you'll get a message that says edit your template to edit this block. If you want to modify the template that has been assigned to this page, you can click on edit template. This will take you to your page template in this example. And here you can modify your header and your footer. You will not be able to add content to a template. Content of course gets added to posts and pages. The content block is merely a placeholder in this context. This brings us to our next topic, namely templates. Templates provide the structure for how your content is displayed. When you select templates, you will notice a range of templates that come with your theme. Built-in templates. For example, the page template that displays a single page the index template that is a fallback template, or the single post template that displays the layout of single posts. And right at the bottom, we will see any custom templates. When you click on the plus icon next to templates, you can add a variety of new templates, even a custom template that can be applied to any post or page. Let's open the page template to better understand how a template works. A template provides structure. A template usually includes a header template part, and a footer template part. And the post content block pulls in the content from the page or post assigned to the template. So a template is only used to modify the layout or design of the page, namely the header, footer, and even sidebar. The site editor therefore makes a clear distinction between editing the template and a page. You can modify your header and footer within the template. One of the options you also have is to click on the three vertical dots and select replace header. Then you can replace your current header with one of your existing header template parts or header patterns that come with your theme. Another option you have is to select your header and then click on edit. This will allow you to modify your header or footer within template editing mode without any other distractions. To assign a new template to a page or post, open the relevant piece of content, in this case my about page, and then in your sidebar settings on the right, next to template, click on the name of the template, select swap template, and then you can choose a custom template to assign to your page or post. It is also worth mentioning that when you click on manage all templates and then select bulk edit, you will be able to explore and filter through your templates via table view or grid view. And when you select bulk edit again, there are more filtering options. Please note, you can explore and filter pages and template parts in exactly the same way. Finally, let's talk about patterns. At the top, you will be able to view all the available patterns. When you select my patterns, you can create and manage your own custom synced and non-synced patterns. Below my patterns, we can view all our custom patterns as well as patterns that come with our theme in their relevant categories. And below template parts, we can also create and manage our header, footer and general template parts. Template parts are essentially patterns. They are synced reusable components that can be used across your site. Let's start with my patterns. To create your own custom pattern, click on the inserter next to patterns and then select create pattern. After naming it, you can select to add it to a relevant category and then decide to sync or not sync your pattern. A synced pattern will sync across your entire site and that means if you make a change to your pattern in one place it will update anywhere it is used. You can also toggle this off if you prefer to have a non-synced pattern. Non-synced patterns are just regular patterns that can be edited independently. 
When you return to your custom pattern area, you will notice that synced patterns have a purple icon and non-synced patterns don't. Next, you will notice that the patterns that come with your theme are locked and you are therefore not able to edit them. But when you click on the three vertical dots below a pattern, you will be able to copy it to your My Patterns area. At the bottom, we can also create and manage our header, footer and general template parts. You have two options here. You can create custom headers and footers or customize template part patterns that come with your theme. To create your own template part, click on the plus icon at the top next to patterns and select create template part. When you add a new template part, you have an option between general header and footer template parts. General template parts are not tied to any particular area and remember to give them a descriptive name. When you open up a template part from here, you will be able to modify and edit your template part in template editing mode without any distractions. Or you can open up the relevant template, and in this case, my custom template, and then you can modify your header or footer template part from within the template. And as shown earlier on, you can easily replace one of your headers or footers with a pattern or an existing template part from the library. To end off, I also want to highlight an extremely helpful feature called the command palette that will save you loads of time and help you move around your site editor more effectively. The command palette allows you to swiftly complete tasks and navigate within the site editor. You can, for example, type in new to create a page or template or just the name of the area where you want to go. For example, pattern, to manage all my patterns. You can access the command palette by using the shortcut Command K on Mac or Control K on Windows. You will also find it in the Site View sidebar by clicking on the search icon. Or, you can merely click on the title bar. And that is our brief overview of what you are able to achieve using the site editor.